Hello everyone. This is lecture 9 on fixed point theory and application. So today I am going to explain the application of Banach fixed point theorem. The first is the solving system of linear equations using fixed point theorem. And the second is the ordinary differential equation. So now just see what is how we will use the Banach fixed point theorem in solving the system of linear equation. So let's suppose we have n system of linear equations with n unknowns. So this is a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3 till up to a1 n xn is equal to b1 and same way others. So these are n linear equations in n unknowns and we have to find the solution of the following system of equations using the contraction principle. So the above metric problem it can be written as ax is equal to b where a are the coefficients of unknowns b are the right side coefficients and x are the unknowns. So this system of equations have solution, moreover unique solution. If the determinant of i minus a, here i is the identity matrix of the same order as the order of matrix a. If this determinant is less than or equal to q, where q is a number which lies between 0 and 1. Right? So if this system of equation satisfying this condition, then there exists a unique solution. So now just see how to solve the system of equation. So we can write the system of equation as this. We can take all the terms to the right side and add x1 to both sides. So we get x1 is equal to 1 minus a11 x1 minus a12 x2 and so on plus b1 right so in this system of equation basically we add in the first equation we add x1 to both side and then we take uh, x1 to only left side and rest all the terms to the right side in the same way in the second equation we add x2 to both side and we take all the terms to the right hand side and so on. So what we get? We get now a new system of equation with the coefficients 1 minus a11 minus a12 minus a1n and so on. So we get a new matrix. Right? So over xi can be written as with these new coefficients into xj plus the right side coefficients bi. So above system of equation can be written in this form. So now just see the above system of equation is equivalent to this form. We get x these are unknowns a dash which is a new coefficient matrix with alpha 1, alpha 1, 2 and so on where alpha ij is defined in the previous slide. So that is 1 minus a11 and so on in that form plus b's right side coefficients. So basically we have the transformation. So we have to find out the fixed point of this. So this will become our fx. So here we have to find those value of x such that x is equal to fx means we have to find the fixed point of this transformation. So we get T a mapping going from Rn to Rn which is defined by T of x is a dash x plus b where a dash is i minus identity minus a. Right? So now just open it we get this. So now just see if we take x1 and x2, any members of Rn, then T of x1 minus T of x2, you just substitute the value of x1 and x2 over here. We get A of A dash x1 plus B minus A dash x2 plus B with minus sign. So B, B will be cancelled out and we left with this one. 
right and this is same as that identity minus a times of x1 minus x2 now here we have taken rn as our domain and if the metric is defined like this then we need to check only this thing that this is contraction the mapping t is contraction or not already we know that this space is complete space so it is sufficient to check that this mapping is contraction so by bana contraction principle if this mapping is contraction mapping then by contraction principle there exists a unique solution of such type of equation so we consider the distance of t of x1 comma t of x2 and this is defined like this so we substitute the value of t of x1 and t of x2 over here okay so it will be less than equal to this thing this can be taken outside and this is nothing but d of x1 x comma x2 this is what this is nothing but the mode of or you can say determinant of i minus a by the given condition this is less than equal to q where q is strictly less than 1 so therefore this satisfy the contraction condition so this is contraction mapping so since the space is complete and the mapping is contraction therefore there exist a unique fixed point of the mapping t which completes the proof so in this way we can solve the system of linear equations using banach contraction principle now just see an example let's suppose we have this system of equation these are the right side coefficient these are the coefficients of unknowns okay so if we find i minus a determinant we get this is half okay so which is less than q where q is less than 1 right this is strictly less than 1 so we get by above theorem this system have a solution moreover unique solution and we can solve this and we get this is the solution of this system of equation so in this way we can solve system of linear equations using the fixed point now the another application is to solve the differential equation again consider a matrix space let's suppose x is r and f be a mapping going from closed interval ab to closed interval ab and let's suppose this function is differentiable function so this function is differential function going from closed interval to closed interval and it satisfy the lipschitz constant means uh, the value k which is strictly less than 1 and it satisfy the condition that f of the distance of f of a comma f of b is or you can say any other point at x1 and x2 is less than k times the distance of x1 comma x2 so then there exist a unique x star belonging to this interval such that this is a fixed point of this mapping f so now just see if we take any two point from this closed interval with the condition x is less than y then since our function is differentiable and it is defined on the closed interval so by the mean value theorem there exist at least one point c from this interval x comma y at which we have this condition that f of y minus f of x is equal to f dash c into y minus x so we can take more to both side and further this is less than equal to k times k mod of y minus x because this satisfy the lipschitz condition right so what we get basically mod of f dash c is less than equal to k right so this is a condition basically and since this k is strictly less than 1 so this implies that f is contraction mapping also with a bounded factor k and r is complete so we can apply banach fixed point theorem and by using banach fixed point theorem we have a unique fixed point for such type of differential equations so in this way this function also have a fixed point means have a solution
so these type of differential equations have solutions using the banach fixed point theorem there is one more application of banach fixed point theorem that we can solve integral equation so by using the same concept we can solve now the we can find out the solution of integral equation with the help of the contraction mapping principle